take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The float test does not determine whether an egg has gone bad, but it does provide a useful indication of the age of an egg. To perform the float test, place the egg in a large bowl of water. If the egg sinks or stays at the bottom, it is still fresh. However, an egg that floats may still be safe to eat. Let's help you make your mark. 2 hours. A cold egg left out at room temperature can sweat, facilitating the movement of bacteria into the egg and increasing the growth of bacteria. Refrigerated eggs should not be left out more than 2 hours. Consumers themselves should not try to wash their eggs, the USDA warns. Let's help you make your mark. An egg is a closed system. Due to evaporation of the liquid in the egg due to the permeable shell, the egg will get lighter as you incubate it. It has to lose a certain percent of its weight to hatch. There is no way it can get heavier normally. Make your mark, take our lead. If the egg sinks, it is fresh. If it tilts upwards or even floats, it is old. This is because as an egg ages, the small air pocket inside it grows larger as water is released and replaced by air. If the air pocket becomes large enough, the egg may float. Take our lead. This is not a myth. Fresh eggs sink while bad eggs float to the top. Simply fill a bowl with cold tap water and place your eggs in it. If they sink to the bottom and lay flat on one side, they are fresh and good to eat. A bad egg will float because of the large air cell that forms at its base. Let's help you make your mark. If the egg sinks, it is fresh. If it tilts upwards or even floats, it is old. This is because as an egg ages, the small air pocket inside it grows larger as water is released and replaced by air. An egg can sink and still be bad, while an egg that floats may still be fine to eat. 3. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.